Well, I don't know about you guys, but 20.5, in my opinion, was by far the most fun open workout of 2020. I think the reason why I like this one so much is because there's the aspect of getting to add your own strategy into it and look at it from terms of what, like, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses, and how to formulate it as you as an athlete. That just that layer was really, really fun for me. I don't even think I could add up all the like time I spent Thursday and like Thursday evening and Friday morning trying to dial in the best strategy. I had to consult with Ben and consult with Genesee and figure out what really we, what we really thought was gonna work for me. And I think the question that we're all really wondering is did anybody crack the code? And I honestly, I don't think so. I don't think that there is a good answer. I think it is so dependent on the athlete. My first attempt, I thought honestly, was probably my best strategy that I had come up with. And that's probably the one that I would have tweaked a little bit. And that strategy was, I opened up with a moderate set of muscle ups, went right into a row. And I just ticked off some row while I was still fresh and I could have a, a strong row. Ticked off some calories. I think I did 30 calories there. And then I went into five rounds of a couplet between muscle ups and wall balls. A decent of the reps and worked my way through the rest of that work and left myself with a 50 cal row, which wasn't too daunting. And I knew that I could push my effort on those last 50 calories and it, and it paid off. Honestly, I came out with a great time, 10.25 for my first go, and I was really stoked about that. But as soon as I finished, I knew that I could do it a little bit better. And I think the thing that I would do differently in that approach is quicken my transitions. I played it a little conservative, made sure that I was ready to go, had enough energy for the next set. And instead, I think, pushing that and adjusting the fly would have been a little bit better of an approach. So when I finished 20.5 the first time, sent all of our data over to Ben. Saturday was spent trying to decide was our time good enough to qualify for the games, to, to keep me in a qualifying position. And throughout Saturday and Sunday, we had determined my time should, in fact, just given the data that we had from other athletes and what they were putting up, it should be fine. And I would be okay taking my first attempt score submitting that and just moving on and going on to the rest of the season. Oh, but I knew, I knew that I had more in me and I wanted to find out what I could do. So Saturday and Sunday, I continued to spend more time looking at some other people's videos, getting some strategies from people and playing with it. This workout was kind of a mind game and that was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. So we put together a different strategy just to see what I was capable of doing. And that strategy was really go as hard as possible for as long as possible and see if you can hold on. I couldn't. I started the workout by doing a big set of muscle ups and then going into a big set of wall balls so I could just knock out a lot of work while I was still fresh. And my plan was to do a couplet of muscle ups and wall balls for four rounds and I ended up doing it in three rounds just because I was feeling good and I wanted to take advantage that uh, while, I, while I had it and see if I could hold on. I didn't and I ended up doing 20 muscle ups, 75 wall balls, 15 muscle ups, 45 wall balls, five muscle ups, 10 wall balls, and then an 80 cal row. And I'm just saying it was not worth it. It was so much better to break it up the first time I did it into smaller chunks, smaller sets. I completely depleted myself of energy the second attempt and I had nothing left for that row. And to sit on the rower for 80 calories when you're just completely taxed the way I was, was miserable. Attempt two was by far maybe three times more painful than attempt one and I only improved by three seconds. And I just want you to know that didn't change anything on the leaderboard. So what I learned from that is to just trust my instinct. I came up with my attempt one strategy because I knew what would put me in the best place physically. And attempt two, I took a risk. And I really should have just trusted my gut and not gotten too greedy broken those sets up of muscle ups and wall balls a little bit more and I think I would have had more, more energy for that row. So trust your gut, don't get greedy. Well guys, the open is over. 
It has been so cool this last week seeing so many people get their first muscle up. I remember what it felt like when I got mine. It was so exciting. So thank you for sharing that with me. From here, we're just gonna let the leaderboard settle, get back into a regular training schedule, and just look forward to what the rest of this season has to bring. I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. We'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. So I share that with you guys. Thank you for sharing it. No, that's weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Earthquake. <laughs> do, 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 do